We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Topic is three phase transformer connection. So, during this lecture, you will learn about the different types of connection that can be done for the three phase transformer. So, as we know, a transformer in the case of three phase, there are basically, uh, as per the construction, two types. Either three single phase transformer that can be used or three phase winding that can be used on a single core. So these are the basically two types of three phase transformer. Now, whatever that three phase is there in primary as well as secondary side of the transformer that can be connected in different ways. Now, this different connection of the transformer is depending on the its particular advantages and disadvantages. So, in this particular lecture, we can see how the transformer is connected and due to these different types of connection, what is the output or what will be the change in the output voltage that can be take place. So, before going into the connection, we have to take certain things. Okay. So, first uh, we have to assume uh, different things. First thing that we have to assume is the notation. So, as we know in any type of transformer, there are basically two um, windings will be there. One winding is known as the HV winding, that is the high voltage winding. Second winding is known as the LV winding, that is the low voltage winding. So, in this particular connection, uh, in HV winding, we denoted as capital letters. So, capital A, B, C, it is used for the three phase HV winding. And in case of LV winding, we use a small letter that is small A, B, and C. Okay. Now, next. Okay, so the interconnection of phase winding to give three phase provide three connection. We can basically connect three phase transformer in three different connection. Either we connect in delta connection, star connection, or zigzag connection. Now, how we can connect in this three different connection that we can see in the letter one? Total 12 method of connection is possible in the three phase transformer means you can connect primary and secondary by this 12 different method. Now, how this 12 different method will be differentiated?
So this 12 different methods will be arranged in the four main groups. You can see over here four group is there. Group one, group two, group three, group four. Now in first group, zero phase displacement is there. In second group, 180 degree phase displacement is there. In third group, 30 degree leg phase displacement is there. And in fourth group, 30 degree lead phase displacement is there. Now, how this 0, 180, 30 degree will be displacement will be given. So over here, you can see that according to the phase displacement, which exists between line voltages on the two side of the transformer. So if uh, one side, that is the primary side of the transformer is uh, with reference to the secondary side of transformer, the displacement between these two voltages, primary voltage and secondary voltage, in any of the one phase is zero. Means that is the primary voltage and secondary voltage both have zero phase displacement, then it is in the first category. In second, the line voltage between primary and secondary are displaced by 180 degrees. Okay. In third case, these two voltages are displaced by 30 degree leg and fourth it is displaced by 30 degree lead. Now, this whatever the angle of displacement is there, that angle of displacement, it is uh, compared with the clock position. So in clock position, as we know, if whatever the uh, two is there is on the same axis, then it is indicated as a zero. So in this case, you can see that the capital letter is used for the H bending, small letter is used for the L bending. So Y, Y, zero. It is the connection for your H bending is connected in star, L bending is connected in star, and the phase displacement between the line voltages of H V and L bending is zero. So that is the first type of uh, connection in the transformer is there. The second connection is DD0. So DD0 means HV winding is connected in delta, LV winding is connected in delta, and the phase displacement between these two is zero. And same way for DZ0, HV winding is connected in delta, LV winding is connected in zigzag connection. Z stands for the zigzag. And zero means phase displacement between these two is zero. Now 180 displacement. 180 displacement, it means if your primary winding is in this particular phase, then the secondary winding voltage is 180 degree. It means this is your first voltage V1 for the primary winding, then this particular voltage is V2 for the secondary winding. So that is the 180 degree phase displacement. Now, now if you compare this particular uh, to the clock, then it represents as a 6. So it is a YY6 connection. Now, as you know, HV is uh, capital letter, L is small letter, so star, star and displacement is 180 degree. DD6 means delta delta and displacement 180 degree and DZ6 means delta into zigzag and then phase displacement is 180 degree. Same way 30 degree phase displacement but lagging. Now if primary is in this particular position and secondary is 30 degree lagging means your secondary is at uh, this particular position this lagging. And the angle between this plus and two is near about approximately 30 degree. For 30 degree, if you compare this particular with the clock, then with the clock it is represented as one. If it is 12, 12 with reference to 12, this is one. So over here, the connection D by one means primary connected in delta, secondary connected in star, and one means the displacement is 30 degree level. Same way YD1, HV winding connected in star, delta 1, YZ1, clear? And 30 degree leading, leading means if you lead your secondary voltage by primary voltage at an angle 30 degree. So whatever, if you consider this 12, then this is 11. So this connection is known as a DY11, YD11, and YZ11, okay? Now one by one, we can see all the connection, how the connection will be formed that we have to see one by one. So first type of connection, that is the YY0. Now, in YY0 connection, what happened in case of YY0 connection? So as you can see, 
in case of yy0 connection okay before going into the connection you have to draw six winding three hv winding three LB winding. So this is phase A, phase B, phase C. And this is phase A, phase B, phase C for the LB winding. Now phase A winding has two, uh, uh, two sides, A1, A2. Phase B has two sides, B1, B2. Phase C has C1, two sides, C1 and C2. Same way in case of LB winding, phase A has two sides, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So first draw this six winding depending on HV and LV, denote it by capital and small letter according to the uh, design. Now next is drawing vector diagram. So in vector diagram star connection, the phase displacement between two phase, if it, it is connected in the star is 180 degree. So you can see phase A, it is displaced uh, phase B, it is displaced by 180 degree from phase A, phase C displaced by 120 degree from the phase B. Now whatever the phase A is there, now if you consider HV as primary winding, so uh, out of this two end of connection, in one end of connection you have to give supply. So you can decide uh, any uh, point of connection as a supply, either you can give supply A1, B1, C1 or you can give supply to B2, C2. There is no any difference will be there. So here I give supply to the A2, B2 and C2. So if I give A2, B2, C2 give supply, then this is phase A, A2. The opposite side of A2 is A1. So you can see here A1, B1 and C1 are connected to a common point and this common point is known as a neutral. So now if you use this particular connection then you have to short a1 b1 and c1 and this a1 b1 c1 it is known as a point neutral n okay now as per the uh, logic the hv winding and lv winding phase voltages have phase displacement zero degree means whatever the phase a is there uh, the voltage of phase a the voltage of phase A in the LV winding is zero, means it is in the same phase. So over here you can see it is the same phase. So same phase A, same phase B, same phase C. So now in LV winding also you can uh, in any end of the connection either you take a supply and connect to connect to the load. So over here I can take a supply and connect it to the load from A to B two and C two. The opposite end will be A one B one. And C1. So A1, B1, C1 are connected to a common point, and this particular common point will be called as a neutral. So A1, B1, C1 are connected to a common point, and this is the your neutral point N. Yeah. So this is a simple your Y Y0 connection. Y Y means HV is connected in star, LV is connected in star, and the phase displacement between the line voltage of any phase is zero. Okay. Now next connection. So uh, this is the actual connection that we uh, draw for the star connection. Okay, now next is DD0 uh, connection. Now in case of DD0 connection, you can see over here that In case of DD zero connection, uh, HV is connected in delta. So this is your delta connection. And LV is also connected in delta. This is your delta connection. But now to give a phase difference between HV and LV, we have to take some reference. Over here, you can see that this particular line is taken as a reference. So with reference to this particular line in HV, in LV also, it is in the same phase because over here the phase displacement is zero. 
And again, in the same way, you can apply the supply to any of the end. So I have applied supply to this particular end, A2, B2, and C2. So this will become phase A, this is phase B, this is phase C. Okay, so first thing that you have to do is draw three winding HV, LV, give its uh, name A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. And next is if this is phase A, this is A2, opposite end will become A1. This is B2, phase B, opposite end will become B1. C2, phase C, opposite end will become C1. So now you can see that for the delta connection, you have to join A2 with C1. So A2 with C1, A1 with B2, A1 with B2, no, B1 with C2, B1 with C2. And in A2, B2 and C2, you have to give your input. Okay. So this is your H winding connection. Now for the zero displacement, we have to take a reference in the same phase. So for this particular same phase, your A2 will be output. We take as A2 as output. If A2 is input, we take A2 as output. So A2, B2, C2. Phase A, B, C, A2 opposite is A1, B2 opposite is B1, and for the C phase, C2 opposite is C1. Same connection will be there. A2 is connected with the C1, A1 is connected with the B2, B1 is connected with the C2. And from A2, B2, and C2, you can take as a output. Okay, so this is the DD0 connection. Now, next is DZ0 connection. Okay. Now for DZ0 connection, you have to draw first two winding for the H. This is your three winding, sorry, three winding for H. This is your HV and this is your LV. Now LV is connected in zigzag form. So to connect zigzag form, we have to divide it individual phase into two parts. So this LV winding A phase will be divided into two parts. This is your phase A. So two part means there are four uh, points will be there or four end will be there A1, A2, A3, A4. Same way phase B, B1, B2, B3, B4. And same way phase C, C1, C2, C3, C4. Okay. So to draw a zigzag connection, you have to divide a winding into two part. First thing is you have to draw this particular winding called the HV and L. Clear? Next. Now see, this is connection is DZ0. So first it is connected in delta, it is a simple way, and this is taken as a reference. Okay, so A2, B2, C2, opposite end A1, B1, C1. A2 is connected with the C1, A1 is connected with B2, B1 is connected with C2, and A2, B2, C2, you have to apply a input. Now in the second case, for the zigzag connection, for zigzag connection with this reference output voltage will be zero degree. Zero degree means this particular reference will be taken um, in the same phase as your HV winding. Okay. Now as you give input to the A2, so we take output from A4 because over here the maximum point is four. So A4 over here, uh, this is your phase B. So for phase B, your this is this point is B4, and this is phase C. For phase C, your reference this is the C4. Okay, F4, B4, and C4. Now see how the zigzag connection will be formed. If this is F4 on um, F4, okay, from this F4 point, 
draw a parallel line to your phase A. Now, this is phase A. Phase A to parallel line. This is your phase A. Okay, half side. Then, to complete this particular vector, we have to draw a second phase. Now, this second phase will be drawn like this. Now, this particular thing, it is in parallel with the C. You can see that. So, so this is your C phase. Here, likewise, you have to complete this particular phase one by uh, completing this two phase. Now, in the second case, this is the second thing. This is your B4. B4, draw a parallel line to phase B up to this particular point. And from this point, complete this uh, phase to uh, uh, given this particular vector. Now, this particular phase, it is in parallel with the A. So, this will become phase A. And same way for the third thing, this is your uh, resultant phase, uh, C4 point. So, C4 parallel to the C4, draw phase C. This is phase C up to midpoint. After that, uh, if you join this particular thing, then this will become your this phase, third phase. Now, this is parallel with the B. So, this is B. Okay. Now, A4, opposite to A4 and is A3. B4, opposite to B4 and is B3. C4, opposite to and, and is C3. Okay. Now, you have to give second two end connection for this phase C, phase A, phase B. How we can give the name of this particular connection? A4, A3. Over here, A3 is smaller one from the A4. 3 is small from the 4. Now, C, we have to give name 1 or 2. So, where we have to put C1 or C2. So, over here, 3 is lower. So, in the lower case, put lower over here. Means put C1 over here and C2 over here. Clear? Same way in this, B4, B3. 3 is lower, this is phase A. So put A1 over here and A2 over here. Same way C4, C3, this is phase B. Put B2 over here and B1 over here. Okay, now complete your winding diagram. How you can complete? A2, B2, C2 is connected to a common point and it is a neutral. So. A2, B2, and C2, it is connected to common point and it is the neutral. Now, A4, B4, C4, from that you have to take output. This A4, B4, and C4, you have to take output. A3 is connected with the C1. So, A3 is connected with C1. Okay. B3 is connected with A1. B3 is connected with A1. C3 is connected with B2. C3 is connected with B2. Okay, so this is your zigzag connection. By this way, you have to connect uh, BZ0. So this is the BZ0 connection. Now, next type of connection is YY6. So, YY6 means HV is connected in star, LV is connected in star, and the phase displacement is 6. 6 means 180 degree. Okay? So, you can see that first HV, A2, B2, C2, we give as an input. So, opposite end is A1, B1, C1 is connected to a common point, that is the neutral. A1, B1, C1 connected to common point neutral. A2, B2, C2, that is your input. Now, this is phase A with reference to this phase A. On LV side, phase A is 180 degrees shifted. You can see this is upper side. So, 180 degrees shifted means this phase A in the lower side. So, this is your phase A. First thing. Second thing 
in 180 degree if you give input to the a2 b2 c2 you have to take output from the a1 b1 and c1 this is keep in the mind so after 180 degree if you take output from a1 b1 and c1 then opposite end is a2 b2 c2 connected to the point that is the neutral so this is a2 b2 c2 is connected to the neutral and from a1 b1 c1 you have to take your output so this is your yy6 connection next dd6 connection so now in the case of dd6 connection first uh, this is your reference with this particular reference connect in delta a to b to c to phase a this is a1 this is a b1 this is a2 is connected with the C1, A1 is connected with the B2, B1 is connected with the C2. Now we have to give phase displacement 180. So with this reference, 180 degree will be coming at B1. Okay. And the notation over here A2, we have to take output from A1. So over here it is A1. So this is your phase A at 180 degree. This is phase B. So B also 180 degree means over here it is B1. This is phase C. With this 180 degree, it is your C1. So A1, B1 and C1. Now if the, uh, this is phase A. Now parallel to this particular, this line will become phase A. Parallel to this line will become phase B. Parallel to this line will become phase C. Now A1 over here is opposite point A2, B, B1. Opposite B2, AC, C1, opposite C2. So now for 180 degree connection in delta delta case, A1 is connected with C2. So you can see that A1 is connected with the C2. Now B2 is connected with the C1, B2 is connected with the C1, and B1 is connected with the A2. B1 is connected with the A2 over here. Okay. So this is the DD6 connection. Next is DZ6 connection. So in the case of DZ6 connection, first connect into delta A to B to C2. This is your reference for the phase A, A, B and C phase. Okay. Now 180 degree means your phase C is shifted to this particular 180 degree. Now phase B, phase B, B shifted to the 180 degree C. C shifted to the 180 degree. First thing. Second thing, you, you give input to A2, B2, C2. That is the maximum point. Two. Over here, you, uh, you have to take output from the minimum point. Maximum point is A4. A4 to minimum is A3. So over here, A3. This is B3 and this is C3. Clear? Now, from the C3, uh, parallel to C, draw line and join second line to complete this vector. So this is perpendicular uh, parallel to B. This is B. Then this is A phase A, phase parallel to phase A, and complete this particular vector. This is parallel to C. So this is C. Same way, uh, B parallel and A parallel. Okay. Now C three. So this will become C4. A3, this point will become A4. B3, this point will become B4. Okay. Now, according to the zigzag logic, over here it is 4. And this is phase B. 4 is maximum. So now B1, B2. From B1, B2, maximum is B2. Over here, you have to take as B2, B1. A3, A4. 4 is maximum, C phase, C2, C1, so C2 is maximum, 2 is maximum, so 2 and 1, same way, A2 and A1. 
So you can see that A1, B1, and C1 are connected to a common point that is the neutral point. So A1, B1, C1 connected to a common point that is your neutral point. Okay. Now B2 is connected with the C4. So B2 is connected with C4. B2 is connected with C4. C2 is connected with A4. So A4 is connected with C2. And B4 is connected with A2. So B4 uh, is B4 is connected with A2. Okay. And from A3, B3, C3, you have to take your output. So this is the DZ6 connection. Yeah. Now next. Next connection is DY1 connection. So first connect HV into delta. Same procedure, this is the reference with reference to this F of B to C2 is ABC and uh, A1 is connected with B2 and B1 is connected with C2 and B1 is connected with C2 and B1 is connected with C2 okay B2 B1 so B1 is connected with C2 and uh, C1 is connected with A2. So C1 is connected with A2. Okay. So this is the delta connection will be there. Now from this delta connection, you have to draw LV in star connection. So do, uh, depending on star connection, uh, one, one it means 30 degree left. Okay, so with reference to this, if you take as a 1 and 30 degree left, so this is A2, B2, C2. So from A2, B2, C2, you have to take out and from A1, B1, C1, you have to take as a neutral point. A1, B1, C1. This is a simple connection, dy one Next, YD1. So for YD1 connection, your HV is connected in star. So this is star connection A2, B2, and C2. A1, B1, C1 that is connected with the neutral point. And this is your phase A reference. Phase A. Now with reference to this phase A, your phase A in LV winding will be shifted 30 degree lagging. Okay, this is the 30 degree lagging. This is A2. Okay, so first uh, you take this particular line as a reference, and this point is A2. Now, from this A2 point, draw parallel to phase A. So, this is parallel to phase A, and over here, B2 is shifted by minus 30 degrees, so it is B2. Now, from this uh, B2 point, draw parallel to phase B. So from B2 point to A parallel to phase B, this is point C2, where your C2 is shifted by minus 30 degree and from C to parallel is okay. So this is your phase A, this is phase B, this is phase C. A2 phase A over here it will become A1. B2 phase B over here it will become B1. C2 phase C over here it will become C1. So C1 is connected with A2. So it is connected with C1, A1 is connected with B2, A1 is connected with B2, and C2 is connected with B1, C2 is connected with B1. So this is your YD1 connection. Next, YZ1 connection. So H winding is connected in star. This is connected in star. Now uh, phase A, phase B, phase C. Now with reference to phase A, uh, zigzag winding that is shifted by minus 30 degree. 
So phase A with uh, reference to is we should get y minus or d. You give input in A to B to and C to. So in the same way you have to take output from A4, A4 and C4. Okay. So from A4, this is your phase A, and to complete this vector, this is your phase C because this particular uh, line is parallel with the C. So this is C. Now from this B4, phase B, and this parallel to A. So A and B from C like this. Therefore, so over here the point will be A3, B4, point B3, C4, point C3. Now 3 is minimum, this is phase C, 1, 2, so 1 is minimum, C1, C2, here 1, here 2, B1, B2. So from this connection you can see that A to B to C2 short circuited, A to B to C2 is connected to common point, it is a neutral. Uh, F4, D4, C4, you have to give, uh, you have to take as your output. Okay. Now, C1 is connected with A3. So, C1 is connected with A3. You can see that. A1 is connected with B3. A1 is connected with B3. And uh, B1 is connected with C3. B1 is connected with C3. So, this is your YZ1 connection. Next, dy11 connection. Now, in earlier case, 30 degree lagging is there. Now, in this particular case, 30 degree leading is there. And dy1, so first connecting delta, same way to b to c2. This is the reference. Now, with this particular reference, we have to shift at LV winding by 30 degree leg, uh, leading. So, compared to this reference, the phase A is on 30 degree leading. And A to B to C2 we apply input the same way A to B to C2 we have to take output. So, A to B to C2 and it is 30 degree leading. particular reference. Okay, simple. Next. YD11. So for YD11, it is connected in star A to B to C2. Okay. L is connected in delta but 30 degree leading. So with reference to this particular phase K, 30 degree leading, this is your phase A. Okay. With reference to this particular phase B, 30 degree leading, this is phase B. And with reference to this phase C, 30 degree leading, this is phase C. Okay. So first draw this three point, join this three point. Now this line is parallel with your phase B. You can see that this line is parallel with your phase B. So it is, it will become phase B. This line is parallel with phase C. So this will become phase C and this line is parallel with phase A. This will become phase A. A to B to C2. Now this is phase B over here B2. So this point will become B1. This is phase C, C2. This will become C1. Phase A2, this will become A1. So now A1 is connected with C2. A1 is connected with C2. A2 is connected with B1. A2 is connected with B1. And B2 is connected with C1. B2 is connected with C1. By this way, your YD11 will be formed. Now 30 degree leading. Last connection that is YZ11. YZ11 means uh, star zigzag and 30 degree leading. 
So first connect star A to B to C to neutral point phase A, phase B and phase C. Now with reference to this particular phase A, we have to draw in uh, LV winding 30 degree leading. So this is with reference to this 30 degree leading. And this is 30 degree leading. And this is also 30 degree leading. You give input to the A to B to C2. So you have to take output from A4, B4, C4. So A4, B4, C4, you have to take output. So now from A4, draw parallel to phase A. And this is parallel to phase A and join this to give this particular vector. Same way for B4, parallel to phase B. And this join vector, this will become B and C. And likewise, C and A. Now, A4 opposite point will become A3. B4 opposite point will become B3. C4 opposite point will become C3. Now, 3 is the lower one from uh, 3 and 4. So, from C1 and 2, B3 is lower. Uh, and near to lower C is equal to C1, C2. Now, same way, A1. A2, B1, B2. So you can see that A2, B2, and C2 are connected to a common point that is the neutral. Uh, C1 is connected with B3. C1 is connected with B3. B1 is connected with A3. B1 is connected with A3. A1 is connected with C3. A1 is connected with C3. Okay, so this is your zigzag connection. So by this way, you can make uh, YZ11 connection. So I hope from this particular lecture, you can learn about how the different types of uh, three phase transformer connection will be there, and how uh, this particular connection will be formed according to the uh, different vector groups. So, we have learned about four groups uh, so group one is zero degree, group two, 180 degree phase displacement, group three, 30 degree lagging phase displacement, group four, 30 degree leading phase displacement. Now all the four groups have its own advantages and disadvantages. So we have to learn about these uh, advantages and disadvantages for all types of connection. Okay, thank you.